Hi and welcome to a new In The Mail. I still have a lot of items that I couldn't fit in our last In The Mail video, so let's get started. We'll start with some LEDs and I have this uh, pack of 1 watt amber LEDs. Remember the video where I changed my uh, reading lamp uh, LED from a cold white to a warm white? Well, I'm not completely happy with the uh, result, mainly because of the low quality of the LEDs I used. They are supposed to be warm white, but when you shine that uh, on a white flat surface, you can see all kinds of uh, bluish color waves coming off the, out of that LED. And uh, that is probably due to a poor quality uh, lens used in that uh, LED design. So I figured I should also try out some, uh, some of these amber LEDs, 1 watt, coming from the same one hung low source in China. And uh, if these don't cut the mustard, uh, I will have to buy some LEDs from a reputable manufacturer because those will meet their specs and uh, work great for sure. So let me just power one of these uh, up and see what kind of color we get. So yeah, we get a very nice um, amber color from these LEDs. I am currently limiting uh, right now, so they are. So this is uh, just uh, starting to glow. Next, I also got some of these uh, three watts LEDs because I wanted to experiment with them. I got both uh, warm white and uh, cold white, and these were supposed to come with a star-shaped aluminum PCB. At least that's what I paid for. However, I noticed uh, when I got them, it's just the uh, bare LEDs, no PCB. These should have a forward current of uh, 5 to 700 milliamps and output up to 180 to 100 lumens. I have already ordered some star-shaped PCBs, but as the shipping from China goes lately, I will get them 60 days later if I'm lucky. I also purchased a couple of these uh, chip on board LEDs from Banggood. I find these uh, interesting, they are 6 watts and they should uh, contain 76 LEDs on this module. The forward current is uh, 520 milliamps at 12 volts and they should output uh, 760 lumens according to their product description. As you can see they use this uh, aluminum PCB substrate but that will not be enough for cooling these. You will need to add some extra heatsink to keep them cool. I got a uh, warm white and a cold white uh, variant and um, maybe I can find some uh, nice heatsinks for this so that I can use them for uh, lighting uh, these videos. Our next item is this uh, 16 by 2 uh, classic uh, graphical uh, LCD. Everyone knows this, they have been around uh, forever and will continue to be around a bit more due to their low cost and uh, compatibility with so many systems. I remember years ago I was paying around 15 to 20 bucks for one of these locally and when I accidentally destroyed one by applying more than uh, 5 volts I was quite sad. I got this one for $1.40 with free shipping and it just feels like shipping was equal or more expensive to the uh, actual cost of this display. These days you don't even design something new with this kind of LCD. They are, uh, there are graphical displays, OLEDs, TFTs, everything you like is available and cheap. So the reason I got this is a bit strange. I wanted to replace this um, EL backlight on one of my bench multimeters. And I thought I should try getting the LED backlight from one of these and uh, sliding it in as a replacement for the EL film. However, I think I found a better solution by using a backlight film from uh, an iPhone display. But more on that in a, in a separate video. These are a couple of uh, AAA LED flashlights. They use the Cree XPE R3 LED. And although they are advertised as uh, 1000 lumen flashlights, that is grossly overestimated because if we take a look at uh, Cree datasheet, we see this LED is only capable of a maximum 122 lumens. But I didn't get these uh, small flashlights for their high output. Instead, I got them because they are so compact and they work with uh, AAA batteries. I can uh, put in a rechargeable AAA and they will come in handy someday. 
I like how they're built. Uh, you can remove this clip if you don't want it. And I highly recommend you get yourself some of these if you like flashlights. This is about uh, how bright they get. So this is uh, good enough when you don't have anything else around. These were uh, $3.74 a piece with free shipping and you can find the link in the description below. In here I have a high power green laser. I'm not that much into lasers. I haven't owned one so far except for those uh, crappy laser pointers. But this was on sale on Banggood and decided to get one. Although they advertise it as a 5 milliwatt laser, they also mention the word burning in the product title and we all know you ain't gonna burn anything with 5 milliwatts. So this thing output is probably at least 100 milliwatts. It also has this uh, focusing mechanism and that is what, what uh, you use if you want to focus the beam and burn something. I'm not even sure it's legal to own uh, or use one of these in Europe. I think you're not supposed to even import them without a proper license. So that's why they're selling them as a 5 milliwatt unit because that power is not restricted in any way. The laser has a nice uh, aluminum body with this uh, key switch on the back and an on off button on the side. I have been reading comments from users that have brought the, the key inside this uh, key switch so if you get one you need to be careful about that and uh, do not apply excessive force. This thing works with uh, 18650 batteries so I will pop one in and do a small uh, test. Let's see if we can burn this match. I'm going to try to get a small uh, spot as possible and I'm going to try to move as little as possible to keep the spot in, in one place. So I see the match is already smoking. success. So as you saw in our test it does light up uh, a match. It is very bright and it should be handled with care. Under no circumstances pointed at humans or animals. There is also the danger of pointing it at a shiny surface and the reflection might hit you. I don't have any protection glasses but I will put a link in the description below for some green laser protection glasses so you can get some if you want to. These are some HT7333 low dropout regulators. I first saw these in a video on uh, Andreas Spice channel. He does interesting videos with a Swiss accent. He had a series about the uh, ESP8266 and showed these uh, very low dropout regulators and how they're useful when powering a 3.3 volts device from a single lithium cell. So I got myself some of these regulators because they have a dropout of just 90 millivolts at an output current of 40 milliamps. The regulators can do a maximum of uh, 250 milliamps with an input of uh, maximum 12 volts. They are manufactured by Holtec, a Taiwanese manufacturer. And I have worked before with some uh, LED drivers from Holtec and they were okay, no problems whatsoever. There will be a link for a datasheet and a product page for these regulators in the description below. Next item is this uh, double AAA uh, battery holder. I was uh, thinking about uh, using an ESP8266 to collect and uh, stream temp temperature data to one of these uh, cloud services. And I was considering to use uh, AAA batteries, but I didn't have any AAA battery holders around. So I got one to I'll keep in my lab in case I ever need it. This particular model has these uh, terminals so I guess you can use it on a PCB as well and uh, design a footprint for this. Earlier in this video you saw those um, uh, AAA LED flashlights that use uh, AAA batteries so I also got some of these uh, cheap rechargeable AAA batteries. 
they are uh, sold as uh, 600 milliamp power batteries but i don't quite believe that so i will use my hacked dummy load and the newly acquired uh, AAA socket to test the capacity of these a pack of six was uh, three dollars and sixty cents with free shipping and as always links will be in the description below these are some uh, popular terminal block connectors at least on youtube these days everyone seems to be using them i first uh, saw these on uh, steve wagner's channel he does some interesting electronics videos so uh, check him out these connectors come in a different uh, pin count and as you can see i have them with uh, two pins uh, three pins and uh, five pins here but they are all connected together so their main use is to allow you to connect together multiple signals they have this uh, nice uh, spring lever mechanism that you need to lift in order to insert a cable and after the lever has been lowered your cable will be gripped inside to secure the connection so i got my myself uh, a few in different pin count uh, just to keep them around for whenever i need to wire something these came from banggood and there will be a link in the description below in here i have a set of uh, 20 pieces gold banana plugs four millimeter ones with uh, soft silicone rubber insulation you've seen these before as i like to use them for my diy cables but it seems like uh, i never have enough cables so i got some more of these banana plugs to make more cables five dollars and 74 cents free shipping for this pack of 20 pieces different colors so as you can see it's way cheaper to buy them in a pack of uh, 20s i was initially thinking of using these um, rubber mounts for the dark load project that i'm working on but the uh, fans i am using and the tight spacing i'm working with will not allow me to use this kind of uh, rubber mount but there are other situations where you could uh, use something like this to silence uh, a fan and uh, remove vibrations for example in a computer case or as it's the case in a Rigol DS1054 which uh, has a noisy fan or as I plan to build a better fume extractor with some um, uh, powerful fans this might also be used in, uh, in that project I also got a couple of these knobs the, they are simple, cheap and uh, just look nice they have a 16 mm in diameter with a uh, 6 mm shaft I have no particular use for these right now but they're just good to keep in the lab because projects that need knobs are always around the corner the price for a set of two is uh, one dollar with free shipping and a link will be in the description below these are countersunk hole neodymium magnets they are quite small at uh, 7 by 4 millimeters and you can use them in uh, various situations I was thinking maybe I could use them to create some kind of uh, wall mount for a bench laptop uh, computer I could easily uh, detach and remove it by using magnets by having that um, counter sunk hole you could also imagine using a screw to mount this to any surface so they're just another form factor for the popular neodymium magnets our next item is this uh, dental mirror once or twice i believe i needed something like uh, like this i will have to cut this uh, packaging so as i was saying uh, once or twice i uh, needed something like this um, for reading markings on components inside an enclosure that was not so easy to take apart so i accidentally stumbled upon this uh, product and got one to keep in my toolbox it should come in handy someday and the last item in this video is this t-type wrench if you remember in volt log number 40 i got uh, this m3 screw tap tool and uh, i didn't have any wrench to grip and turn this tool for creating threads well i ordered one around that time and 60 days later 
here it is I now hi finally have the complete tool needed for the job so uh, this should go in here I can tighten this uh, nut here and now I can uh, thread holes uh, with this M3 screw tab so as usual uh, links for all the items will be in the description below thank you for watching this in the mail episode I hope you liked it don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe and uh, let me know what you think about these uh, items in the comment section below see you next time